you enjoy here? Yeah, I love Brazil, really. I, I feel the vibe of the country. Oh. And you have a beautiful... You know, for us, it's a very exotic place. Let's be honest, I'm from, from Europe, from East Europe. So, you know, you have a palm trees and all these things. And you have a beautiful mm, ocean. I was on the beach yesterday. And it was uh, such a beautiful, like I saw on the in, uh, Discovery Channel. Oh. And you have a great food. I didn't expect that, that you have a, such a good meat. I think I never eat meat like that. Oh, that's so, nice. But all my friends uh, what was in Brazil, they same, tell me the same, like, your meat, it's totally exceptional. And this is true. And your capirinha as well, you like to drink alcohol. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's so I easy. I needed to visit Northwest. Yeah. Northwest to have the best beaches and have the best food and they uh, North, North to insist on like enjoy the life, yeah. enjoy parties. And what it said in your country and disappoint me a lot because in my country everybody knows that that I'm a big fan to be on the beach uh, topless. And my first thought when I come here, even I make an Insta story for my fans from Poland, like, ha ha ha, I'm in the country where naked people are everywhere, so I'm so like at home, you know. And then yesterday I go on the beach and I take my bra, you know, I was on the small streets, and ha, I'm here in Brazil, and the guy comes to me and say, You can't be without your bra, and I say, Fuck, it's Brazil! And he say, No. And I was so disappointed. You can't be without the brain, the public beach. Why? It's a Brazil. You are almost naked on the street. What is wrong with you? Yes, so, so only this one thing disappoints me. Only this one, really. Oh. Because when I imagine about the Brazil, I imagine in my head, of course, the Rio de Janeiro and the Jesus. Yeah. Mountain, Jesus, long beach, big asses. You know, the best asses in the world, let's be honest. You have this. All people have this here. It's so unfair. Big asses and naked. Naked everywhere. Maybe you need to come to Carnival here. Then I can be naked? Yes. On the beach? So if you go to naked, the... naked, not everything? <laughs> not naked on the beach. Maybe on the... I want to be. I don't want to be naked, for example, in town. I want to be naked on the beach because I don't like white stripes on my body. Oh, you know, okay. that's why I like my boobs when they're brown. There are private, topless beaches yeah. here. Yeah, we have the same in Poland, but for example, in Barcelona, uh, you have a beach, uh, not my public beach, and there. They don't give a fuck about you have a boobs outside or no. And sometimes in some area you have you can be totally naked, totally. People in each uh, age, like very old people, children, and the people in the middle, they full naked. And when you are on this beach and you are have a bikini, you start to feel weird because because you are not naked. So how strange it is, you know. So it's, it's super cool, and the same in Italy, for example. They don't care about you have a boobs outside. So I thought your country is the same, but I was so sad because of that. <laughs> I was so sad. I have to go out from the beach and go in the pool. Oh. Yes. And then I can be naked. Question first. Yeah. Um, this move, uh, you you said that the movies, the books, have a lot of your life. Yeah, like eighty-five percent. But uh, my question is a little bit big. What kind of uh, things in movie or book you want to have in your life? I have all of them. Yeah, like all of them? Not like the movie? No, I, no, I wasn't rich. Uh, in that moment when I created 365 days, I wasn't rich. So that's why people sometimes said it's... Uh, too much description about the fashion, about the shoes, about the brands, about the cars, about the travelers, about the money. Okay. But I was poor in that moment, oh. so I can have it only in my books. So yeah, it was the, it was the different because I talk about there about the shoes from Isabel Maran, Beckett. It's called Beckett, and uh, it's in that moment nine almost nine years ago, uh, I thought I will never have them 
and right now we have a seven colors of those shoes only because it was my dream in that moment and they standing in the uh, the best place in my home to remind me that if you really want something you just can get it oh that's nice yeah so that's why that's why there is a lot of description about the fashion and shoes and all these things about the money about the brands and this was the biggest difference between me and and, and Laura okay um, the second question is you have a new project uh, after the other 365 days being no, I finished the script um, in the beginning of this year. I finished the script for a totally new movie. It's nothing with uh, 365. Uh, this is the story about the writer. She is a writer and he is the guitar player because my ex-boyfriend was the story poet and he's the guitar player. Yeah, so I created the new uh, erotic, uh, uh, right now script, so new erotic movie. But maybe I will make a movie and book together. Oh. So this is my this is my new project. And the, after the third book, you think about uh, write the new books about that, like a uh, life of past maximum. Um, I after after uh, three years after I finished the trilogy, uh, I start to create the book number four. Uh, like before 365 days and this is the book from the perspective of Massimo and you have in the first part the uh, first chapter it's from the book number four and here uh, the same in the first chapter is from the book number four so this is the perspective of Massimo uh, and maybe someday I will publish that book but especially after that one so the uh, scene with the hostess girl in the plane this scene the most controversial is from book number four oh. so you have a like you can feel a little what is inside of the book number four this is very um, excited book oh. you know a lot of women's a lot of sex a lot of true about Massimo so I'm not sure a woman are ready for that, or maybe they need this. Yes. I'm not sure. So I think about it, but maybe, maybe because everybody pushing me, you know, fans pushing me, my publishing house pushing me, everybody pushing me. Yeah, give us a four, a number four book, and I said, so I will do with that probably because leave me alone, people. You have the four part, and it's close everything. Now you know everything. So oh, that's nice. Uh, for the, th uh, the three books you write at the, at the same time or you write one book another two these two books um first and second part was the one book in the beginning and this was the end of the story okay so if you you know the book number two you read this okay so you know what is the the end of the story the end of the story is about laura um, yeah laura died Yes. Yes. So everybody are pissed off after the second part. Everybody. So, but right now it's a number uh, three book. But can you imagine if I finish the story like that, everybody will kill me. Oh. Yeah. So it was the one book. I cut it for the Hulk, and then I create the third. Oh yes. Because yes. I want to still be alive. You know. And now the question is, I think you. you that you are team Maximo. You are not team Nacho. You, you don't know what is inside of the book. Yeah, yeah, I I but if you don't write this book, you are always team Maximo. But I know Nacho is the 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 guy of top. Uh, not really. No. Okay. Not really because in the book number two why there is a natural mm -hmm. okay. you know i like when life is complicated it's because when the story is complicated. Died on the, the story like she thinks in natural in the book in that but 
hopefully you write the third book to find the natural with flowers. You will see what is inside of that third book because you don't have opportunity to read this, yeah? Uh, well, I know about the uh, English book. Yeah, and I and the English I book we don't have a number three. I think he maybe uh, the third people say, oh, she stayed with Nacho. I think spoiler, maybe. Sorry. If you want to spoiler, I don't want to. That's why okay. I don't say anything. Um, here in Brazil, we have a uh, pop books like uh, erotic team, like Valentina and Harley Quinn. In Poland, we you have uh, uh, similar pop books like you read before uh, right, the third sense five But not not Polish authors. I never read the book from Polish author. Not never. Having the because here, if you go to the bookstore, you have a lot No, we have a lot of erotic books, but uh, I never read the Polish author book, you know. Before I create 365 days, I, ha I read like 100 books, erotic books, from all over the world. But I never read the book from Poland, never. I try to, after, after um, my trilogy was come out, I try to read some Polish books. But it wasn't something for me, you know. I like, for example, Sylvia Day. She created the Crossfire series. I like it a lot. I like her language. One more I like from the United States, but I don't remember this girl. I, I read only one book, but uh, it was very cool because very simple language. And she wasn't afraid of the sex scene. Because, you know, the main problem of the erotic book, that's why I created my own, uh, was with a sex scene. When you try to tell about the sex in a different way, not in a simple way, you have a dick. Pow. Yeah? Yeah. 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 It's pow. Not the piece of wood or he put me his pen, for example. Kurba, no, fuck, it's a fucking dick, you know? It has to be simple. So when I start to read the book and I see a, he put his pen on me, how how old are have how old are years have a this author you know like what for? Or you talk about sex, or maybe you should create the book about the pens, you know. So that's why I create my own because I don't like sex in the in the books which I try to read. Uh, the final question uh, is: You could you indicate one book, a series, and uh, and a book to the guys from the? We are from uh, I from Nerd Tatuan, that means geek with tattoo, mm -hmm. and you have a lot of tattoo. Yes, everywhere. You said uh, this is my father. Oh, my mother and this is my brother. Oh, that's a yeah, this is my time. Oh my God, it's a hard question, really. Oh. The favorite book is mine. 365 days, part one, two, three. The three is the best. Part three, yeah. Part three really is the best. Uh, favorite movie? Mine, 365 days, part one. First part is the best part. And my favorite series? Uh, the Game of Thrones. Yeah, because there was Khaleesi, mother of the dragonborn in the storm. Yeah, I love.